Hello Team BTI, JP here, the Web Services team. Um, today we're just going to give you a quick video tutorial on how to design a RESTful web service uh, using the Jersey, frame, Jersey Java framework. So the web service that we're going to design today is going to be a simple dictionary. Um, so when, anytime you're designing a RESTful web service, one of the first things you want to do is identify your resources. So for us today, our, our only resource that we're going to be working with are words. So let's jump right into the code. We've already got a NetBeans project opened up right here. Um, so what we're looking at right now is our domain class, uh, our model class for the word. And a word has essentially two fields, a name and a definition. Um, so what we want to be able to do with these words is we want to, via the RESTful web service, we want to be able to get a word from the dictionary. We want to be able to create a new word um, in the dictionary. We want to be able to update the definition of a word in the dictionary. And then we want to be able to delete a word from a dictionary. So we're going to run through all that real quick today and show you how easy that is to do with Jersey. Um, so the, the only other two classes that we're going to be working with is we have this little in-memory dictionary here. And this is just a simple substitute for what normally would be a database backend. And we're just going to be adding the words into a, a hash map in memory. Um, and then the last class is our dictionary resource. And this is where all the Jersey magic is going to happen. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and jump right in. So the first requirement that we're going to implement is the get. So we want to be able to call a URL on our RESTful web service and get back um, the word, which is essentially its, its name and definition. So let's go ahead and start typing this method up. So we're going to create our method signature here. We have a response, which is what we're returning, which is a, a, Jack, a JAXRS um, class, um, part of the Jersey framework. And we're going to call this method get. And we're going to start off with an annotation here, which is also part of the Jersey framework, identifying a, a path parameter and we're going to have a string which is the name of the word. So then what we're going to return, so first we want to retrieve the word from the dictionary. So we're going to call uh, word, word equals dictionary dot get word and then we're going to give it the name. And so now we have our word. So then we're going to construct our response. So we're going to say return response dot ok uh, word dot build. And so this method is going to construct a response that uses our word and sends that back. So we need to add a couple annotations up here that are part of the uh, the Jersey framework. So the first identifies this method as the get method. It's the at get annotation. And you can see that it's defined up here. The full path for that is the javax.ws.rs.get. Um, the next annotation is going to be the at path annotation which identifies um, the, UR, the URL mapping for this particular action in our REST web service. So our path is just going to be defined like this. And what that means is that this is at the root. So like if I wanted, to be, wanted it to be deeper, I could do something like, something like this and define a deeper path. Um, but we're going to put it at the root. And the only part of the path is our word parameter here. And then finally, the last thing that we want to define is what we're going to return for, or what format the word it's going to be in when we return it. So to do that we use the app produces annotation and we tell it we want to return application XML. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a quick test of our web service and NetBeans actually has a nice built-in framework for, uh, for testing this. So if I go over here to my project web services team and right click there's this test restful web services. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to build the jar and it's going to go ahead and deploy it to this built-in uh, web server into NetBeans and then it'll bring up our page. And so part of this testing framework is um, it identifies like the project and then the root resource and then this is my path action that I'm going to be working on throughout this test. So it lets me choose which method I want to execute on that action, um, what MIME type I expect to consume and, and produce, and then I can add parameters if I want to and then, then I just hit the test button. So we have a couple um, words that we've initialized the dictionary with using our, in our in-memory dictionary class. So we've, we've used some standard Java collections. So we have one in there which is a set. So let's go ahead and look up this word. So we get a 200 status, status code back and our response is the XML value for this word. Um, we've got a definition, a collection that contains no duplicate elements, and a name. The name of the word is set. So that's good. We've, we've We've already implemented our first requirement, which is to be able to get a word. Great job. Nice work, guys.